पूर्वे तर्जमतरा शरवाणुमुख्यासेवया गुणगणाट्यमतु संपूर्णसद्गुणतम करुणाचाथी नारायण गुणपति शरण भजेम निर्मथ्यग्रपवारणवे दिगणनोपीष्ट दिशा यज्ञापय करेण विरसन्मता मे चम्यम दाम तदन्महेशमश्रियोलंकृति कर्मतीश्वर पत्बंधन वशा प्रीतस्तु कृष्ण प्रभु तपवली पाटनपट्टांग श्रीपाणी पद्मजानुजंग गोपाल बालकृपया स्वयन श्री पांडुरंगो भवत प्रसन्न व्यासा भवनाशा श्रीशा गुणराशे हृदय शुद्ध विद्या मध्वाय चमो नम बुद्धिबल यशोधर्य निर्भय अरोगता अजाट्यम वाक्पटुम चनुमस्मरणा भवे मुकोपि यदेन मुकुंदशयनाये ते राजये राघवेन्द्र तमाश्रे अपादमूलिपर्यत गुरूण आकृति स्मरे तेर विघ्ना प्रणश्यती सिद्धंती मनोरथा श्रीगुरभ्यो नम यस्टर्डे We were discussing about ahankara. When Arjuna was entering the arena, he was ordering Krishna, "Pratham sthapa yame chuta yavadetan rikshi ham yud kama avastita." Behind these words, you can see the sound of ego. So that ego, Krishna noticed. That is why, after parking the chariot, the center, Krishna told, "Samavetan Guru Niti." He says, "See your Gurus." Arjuna told, "I want to see the whole army." And to whom it I should fight? That is my intention. But Krishna, he was telling Guru. Guru is not even less than one percent. Point zero zero zero. You can number, you can count. Crores of soldiers are there. All of them are named as Guru because Krishna plan to tame his ego. That is why he said Guru. He <coughs> kindled his attachment. When the word comes Guru. Then he could see every person as his relatives. Everyone is putran, sakin. Everyone is friend. Everyone is relative. Everyone is father, mother, like that. Because the word of Krishna is making him to feel like that. Then he was very much upset. and he was <coughs> to see them he started to regret oh i have committed a mistake what action i am going to do i am going to kill my own kids and kins and i am going i am going to kill all my relatives and children and all this That is why killing the children is very much bad. He was seeing all soldiers as children, putran, putran. Yes, actually they were not children. But his attachment makes him to feel like that. That is why 
तान समीक्ष्य सकौंते यहा सर्वान बंधु नवस्थितान कृपया परया विष्टह विशीदन इदम प्रवेद कृपया परया विष्टह It's a very secret thing is who is having the ego in other side he is having the daya ego and daya because ego is in the form of daya what is the shape of ego oh i am a great person all these people are very poor and rich people they show the ego how they treat others with daya all these people poor people i am only a rich person so he is very showing pity on others that i am rich you are not rich so i show pity the ego has been converted into kripa that is why when there is a famous story these asuras and devas and manusha they prayed for brahma they were thinking that all the time we are fighting so sometimes we should stop that but it is not possible let the let let us get the blessing from brahma to stop our inner fighting that is why they prayed and an account of their tapas brahma appeared before him and they expressed see you know that all our we are fighting all the time so but it is not possible for us to stop that if you give something <coughs> remedy or something medicine for that so we'll be more than happy then brahma tell da then it disappeared again quarrel started what means da <coughs> then these asuras they say da means daya devas da means da <coughs> like that they were understanding the word daya as daya as daya that is why ego asuras means who are <clears throat> heap of ego so ego people sometimes they have the daya ego people will fight with another ego person i am superior you are superior. i am superior you are superior like that but for small people they are having the pity so the immediate change of form of ego is there there is where arjuna feeling him that i am going to kill all of the people pitiable people because of his ego he was thinking these people all after a minute they will be die that was his assumption that ego has converted into now kripa kripaya paraya vishta vishidan nidava prani that is why we should catch the sound behind the words when he was coming dhanurudyamya pandavaha the all words are representing ego guys yavadetan nirikshe kaimaya sahayottavyam asmin rana samatyame with whom i should fight i should find someone equivalent to me these people are useless how can i fight with them so that i, I can i should <coughs> select a person who is very much equal to me that was the ego the ego has been converted into kripa by the love of krishna that is why kripaya paraya vishtaha vishidan irava pravi otherwise he should have the kripa on him himself because he was thinking i am going to do a bad thing 
So he should himself, he should regret himself rather than that, he is showing Kripa to others. That means he is having the ego. If he thinks that this is a dharma, then he should regret himself. Oh, I am going to do a bad thing so that I am very bad. How can I could I decide to kill all these things? You know, what a mistake I have done like that. He should regret himself. But rather than that, he says, Kripaya Paraya. Kripa. Kripa on whom? So on soldiers. That means it is nothing but ego. That I am going to kill all of you. So that I am showing pity on you. That is the ego. That is why in all wars, representing his ego and then how it was converted into Kripa. And Kripa will be there where attachment. Without attachment, Kripa will not be there. If our people are, our children are suffering, we should have, we will have that Kripa. Oh, my children, is yes, sick. So that uh, Kripa. If no attachment, no Kripa. So this is an account of the ego is converted into attachment. Ego is converted into Kripa. The Kripa is <clears throat> expressing all other views. Kripaya paraya vishtaha vishidhan itapapravit. Tan samiksha sakaunteyaha sarvan bandhun avasthitan kripaya paraya vishtaha vishidhan itapapravit. Actually, all Bandhavas, they didn't come. They are not in front of him. Sarvan Bandhavan Avastita. She is thinking all our Bandh, all our relatives. Then he shows Kripa. Here, the word Kaunteya. Why the word has come? Kaunteya. The name of, is Arjuna. But he is referred in the name of Kunti because Kunti is having pity. She is the representation of pity. That is why he is the son of Kunti. That is why he showed the Kripa. How can you say Kunti is the representation of Kripa? Because Kunti had daya, special daya on Madhavi. <coughs> when Kunti got the children, Madhi, Madhavi was very sad. By the power of mantra, Kunti could get the children. Then Madhavi requested her, See, you got children. Ahameka anapatya. But I have no children. My life will be waste. Please have Kripa on me. Then Kunti had given the mantra to Mate. No woman can give like this. Then because Savati Matsari. If <clears throat> the same thing we can see in Gandhari. In Kunti God children. Gandhari was so jealous and she pasted and she crushed her womb. But in that case, so one husband, two wife, always jagala. <laughs> but this very special case, Kunti is having pity on Madhari. When she got the children, she was so <clears throat> pity on Madhari. She gave the mantra. Are we ready to give mantra? If you are having the mantra, you cannot, oh, my children, I, will, I cannot give mantra to you. No. But she could. That is why she is having the special quality of Kappa. That is why here Arjuna is mentioned as Kaunteya. Here, no, Arjuna. Arjuna means she is like Veera. If you say in the name of Arjuna, then you are saying Veera. If you say the same Arjuna in the name of Kaunteya, 
then all the throughout the life we can see kunti how she is humble how she is very humble and she was <clears throat> facing all kinds of problems husband died she grew up <clears throat> brought up five children in the forest how it is difficult no husband five children she should bring up all fighting everything that is why kunti is so humble and she is having a special quality of kripa that is why only the kunti has offered the prayer to krishna yavada santana shashrat in this world no one is going to ask this boon she was asking the boon the god she says what do you want i want all the time vipat okay everyone is asking i should come out from the vipat but she is asking i should have the vipat all the time because so then only i am going to remember you if no vipat no remember us when we will be in difficult we say ram 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 if we enjoying sukha then no ram 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 no one is only ekadashi day we say ram ram krishna krishna as a friend dwadashi day no ram ram krishna because vipat will bring the name of god not sampat that is why she was asking please bless with vipat for me so that i can remember you all the time that kind of quality we can see in kunti is arjuna is son of that kunti that is why here the word has come for arjuna as kunti yesterday we say why it was used as rishi kesha rishi kesha kuda keshi in bharat yeah. arjuna was named as kuda kesha what is the purpose of using that name he may have been, have got many names but in this context the guda kesha is <coughs> representing ego so guda ka means nidra nidra means ajnana when ego comes the first step of ego is ajnana it will cover all our viveka that is why now arjuna has become guda kesha because of ego and krishna is controlling this indriya that is why krishna kesha and guda kesha that the rishi kesha is the guru and guda kesha is the shishya who is having ajnana and who is who is master of all indriya is the guru like that here we can see kaunteya because of he is kaunteya so he has showed the kripa for us and he was treating everyone as a bandhu and he is thinking that everyone will be killed killed by me and that ego has converted into kripa now then krishna starts his uh, she is allo he allo kripa should come out that is why drishtve evam svajanam krishna yusum samupasthitam sidanti mama gatrani mukancha parishishyati vepatushcha sharire me rohaharshashcha jayate arjuna openly says drishtve evam svajanam krishna to see my people i am very sad hmm. how can i keep my people swajano the attachment has come along with the kripa attachment also appear that is why krishna allowing him to express all his attachment sri krishna he did not prevent him let them come let it come fully the doctors they treat first they what they do they allow the all bad blood should come out then only treatment will start so if they do in the middle then bad blood will be inside one that is why krishna is allowing arjuna 
to bring out all his attachment and kripa and everything. Let it come out. He was watching silently. Many people, they were asking this question. So Arjuna, in one Nathya, he is expressing his Vishada. What Krishna was doing that time? Just watching TV or anything? <laughs> what he was doing? That was the main curiosity for other people. But Krishna was noticing. Fully it has come out or not. If any Shesha is there like that. So he allowed to <clears throat> come out of all his feelings. That is why here after the full chapter you can see the expression of Kripa and attachment, how attachment is talking like this. <coughs> Most of the time when we talk, we talk, we think that the person is talking. No. Most of the time, attachment, feelings are talking. That is why Krishna was watching. All feelings should come out. Then he will stay on his own. Then only I should start. If you interfere, <laughs> interfere in, in the middle, then he will not be satisfied. Oh, my other questions were also there. But he interpreted. That is why I am not satisfied. That is why Krishna is allowing him to express all his feelings and watching him. And uh, he noticed that is why Gita is giving all the hints. See, this is Kripa, this is attachment, how it has come. Just simply, if you go through Gita, you cannot watch. But you should think behind the words. What is the sound? Then we can uh, <clears throat> notice the real message of Bhagavad Gita. So in that view, we are all <clears throat> thinking and we are studying Gita every day after Krishna Puja here. So kind of Puja, Gita Puja, we are very glad to offer to Lord Krishna here today on behalf of our Varsha Sanjay. We are offering our Puja. And it's very <clears throat> glad that uh, one side we are offering Bhagavad Gita. So Bhagavad Gita is Sanjay Vacha. So Sanjay is the Sanjay Gita. So that we are offering uh, Sanjay Puja today uh, to Lord Krishna. So I'm very glad to offer the Puja and I'm very glad to offer my prayer to bless them and also all devotees here.